been working hard on that. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Moore, Oklahoma, as people there assess the damage to the homes and property. Mike, um, what have you seen Hi, so David, far Alex, today? We've got some oh. Okay. Well, we've got some volunteers out here. Or they are cleaning up uh, out here at the schoolyard. Uh, this is Shahada Carey. We've got uh, Corbin Rhodes and Shay Morris all out here, and they put it upon themselves uh, to come out after every tornado, and you've been through all of them since 99. Yes, sir. He's a senior uh, at Moore High School in 99 and lived about two blocks over from here. Went through that one, went through 2013, and now this one. And this one uh, obviously is not nearly as bad, fortunately, as the others. Absolutely. It's, it may have been weaker, but it still hits us all the same. It's still our neighbors. It's still our community. It's still the playground that our kids can play on. So it may have been weaker, but it, it still impacts Yeah, it us. still really impacts the area. Now, you remember the one from two years ago because you were in your storm shelter. Yes. Um, we had neighbors come over because they, uh, they didn't have a storm shelter. Well, we let them come over. We had to put a chain over our uh, storm shelter because it was shaking so much, and they had to hold it down. And uh, all our stuff was just sitting in the floor while they were while they were sitting there holding it. Wow, that's it's pretty scary, huh? It is. I, I think it was calmer in Best Buy um, yesterday than it was in that storm shelter because it sounded like a train was going over our house. Well, that's because you were dealing with a, an EF5. Yesterday's uh, tornado was much weaker. Yes. Uh, how about you, Shahana? What do you uh, take away from this one and being out here today, uh, again, helping your friends and neighbors? Um, I just always want to help out the community, and I think it's important that if your community is uh, damaged like this, to come out and help your your neighbors and your friends and your family. Yeah, it's it's great to ever see everybody show up. on yeah. a Even on a day when a lot of folks are working, they'll take a day right. off. Yeah, I, I'm always amazed to see how many people are stepping up on Facebook and inviting you to come out and help the community just clean up a little bit. Every well, bit helps. Yeah, that's true. We yeah. want to thank Shahada Carey, Shay Morris, and Corbin for your great story. <laughs> that's uh, one you'll remember for the rest of your life, right? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Dave and Alex, some great volunteers out here cleaning up the schoolyard. Southgate Elementary, uh, damage to the roof, heavy electrical damage. Schools and more are closed again tomorrow. Uh, they're going to get these kids in another school somewhere next week, I hear, and they hope to get most of the schools open next week because most of the schools obviously didn't get any damage. But, again, all the city schools tomorrow more are closed again. All right. Thank you, Mike, and uh, thank your guests as well. That really helps bring it home. Absolutely. To hear from the people who live there. Even the youngest ones, you know, they're going to yeah. get out there and they're going to help because this is uh, what it is to be a part of that community. Absolutely.